Antlers are a really amazing weapon that a buck uses to fight other bucks for access to breeding females. And as a weapon, it needs to be strong. You don't want your weapon to break in the middle of a fight. And so it is a solid bone and that bone is attached very solidly to the pedicle, which is an outgrowth of the skull in the, in the buck. And this is a solid piece of bone. But at the end of the breeding season, after the breeding season, this buck is going, if he were alive, if he were still alive, he would drop this antler and uh, just drop it to the ground and grow a new set of antlers the next year. And that's a, one of the most phenomenally amazing things about, about deer that I love so much. Uh, but anyway, uh, they have to be really strong and firm during the breeding season when they're fighting other bucks. So they're solid, but then they have to drop. And how does that drop happen? Well, there's uh, what we call an abscission line. If you look really close here, you can see uh, kind of a, a little bit of a jagged line right there. It's still a solid bone, but at that line and down through through the antler, that, that it's called an abscission line, but it's really an area at the base of the antler that is going to degenerate. The bone is going to degenerate. Now, you've probably heard of older people, particularly older women, postmenopausal women, that have a problem with osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is where the bones weaken. The mineral content of uh, an older person's bones is less, and that's why they're more fragile and break more easily. Well, the cells that cause osteoporosis or the breakdown of the hardness of the bone, those cells exist along this abscission line. And at the correct time of the year, and this is all under hormonal control within the animal, at the right time of the year when it's supposed to happen, these cells become active and start degenerating the integrity of the bone right along that abscission line. And so all through that line, through the base of the antler, uh, the bone is being degenerated. The minerals are being pulled from that area of the antler. And uh, when it weakens enough, the weight of the antler and the weakened structure of the bone there, the antlers will fall off. And what you see here, this is uh, this rough texture is because those cells aren't snipping like a scissors in a piece of paper. They're generally degenerating the the integrity of the bone, but um, it, it's not perfectly smooth surface. But this is uh, basically a, the abscission area at the base of this antler, where the cells degenerated the the integrity of the bone, and it fell off because of the weight of the antler. Once the antler falls off, the top of that pedicle is basically now a bloody wound. It's a lost a tissue and it bleeds. And you'll see a, a collection of blood initially in, in uh, the first day you'll have just a pool of blood there. And just like any wound that you get, the, the blood is going to dry and it's going to uh, develop a scab. And so you see this bloody pedestal uh, right after the antler is dropped and then it starts uh, drying and, and uh, eventually a scab forms over that wound. And then once that scab is fully formed, the new antler starts growing in its place from the base growing out.